Hey, welcome to the workout. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I've got a quick 10 minute morning mobility routine to get your day started and head in the right direction. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. It doesn't get better than that, so take advantage of it. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this one. All right, we're gonna dive right into this one. All you need is your mat. We're gonna be doing active stretches here. So what we're gonna start with is interlacing the fingers between the toes of the opposite foot so that the foot is bent in toward your pelvis there with the other leg straightened out. Now, the hand here is passive stretching of the foot and toes. But what we're gonna do with the other leg that's straightened out is flex and point the toes. So we're really focused on how tight our quadriceps are, how close we can get the back of the knee to the floor here, and then how far we can actually reach the toes away, and then how tight we can curl them toward us. Now we're also gonna try a couple active lift-offs here. So keeping the quadriceps tight and the toes pointed, we wanna see how far you can lift that leg from the ground. Now if that is troublesome to begin with and you had a hard time getting the leg straight in the first place, just focus on that part, still flexing the quadriceps, pushing the back of the knee to the floor, using the quadriceps, and opening up that posterior chain by strengthening the anterior part of the leg here. A few more lift-offs, and we're spending about a minute in each position here. Go ahead and switch sides, interlacing the fingers between the toes once again. And here we go with a flexed quadricep, pushing the back of the knee to the floor, and then also pointing and flexing the foot back towards you as tight as you can get the musculature around the shin to work here. So you'll feel the stretch on the top of the foot when the foot points away, and you'll feel the calf working, and then you'll feel a stretch at the calf and Achilles as you pull the toes back towards you here. Once again, we're gonna do a few lift-offs to finish this one, and then we'll move into the next position. Very good, now we're going into a 90-90 sit. So 90 degrees at the knee in front, 90 degrees at the knee in back, and we're interlacing the fingers back behind us. Once you have this position, if you're able to sit in this position in the first place, and it's comfortable, we can start to practice a little bit of a lean forward over the leg with the hands interlaced behind you. What you wanna do is drive the arms as straight as you can back behind you, so you're interlacing all the way into a grip of the smallest fingers there. And that's gonna be important, we wanna rotate in toward those smaller fingers as much as possible. You'll really feel those triceps engaging, and you can almost think of lifting yourself into the lean as you go over the front leg here. Now, you will feel the glutes a little bit here, the hips a little bit here might try and cramp a little bit on you. Just be aware those things are possible that they could occur as you're doing it here. Okay, go ahead and switch the leg out front. So once again, 90 degrees at the knee to the front, 90 degrees at the knee to the back. Interlace the fingers into the smallest fingers here, reaching, and we're trying to straighten the arm through the triceps. So you might even feel a stretch through your biceps, the front of your shoulder. So those are things that you could feel as well as you stretch the arms here in this position. Leaning over, getting a good stretch through those glutes on both sides, and a little bit of activation to help you base even in this position. All right, 
Next, we're gonna go into a little bit of a hip rock here to work our ankle a little bit more, hip adductors. So we want one leg perpendicular to the other, the foot pointing away from the other, and we're gonna rock into that side, opening the adductors on that back leg. You'll feel it even on the front leg. Our goal is to keep the knee of the leg that's bending toward the middle and small toes, middle and smallest toes here. And just driving that knee over the toes as far as we can get into that stretch. You might have to play with your range a little bit at first and kind of feel what feels best here. I'm using my arm on the inner side here to help keep that alignment of the knee as I rock into it, but also putting pressure downward to help drive the knee over the toes a little bit deeper, stretching the calf, stretching the Achilles, Achilles rocking in and out of that position. In a few seconds here, we're gonna switch sides and then we'll move into the next stretch from there. Now we're gonna move into the world's greatest stretch. Hands inside the foot of one leg, and then we're really focused on the small toes of the leg that's extended to the back here. And what you wanna do is pick the knee up a few times and then set it back down. So we're getting into full engagement here, really stretching and extending through that back leg as much as possible to start. We're gonna do a few reps with that, and then we're gonna hit the hamstrings from that front leg, and we wanna push back and straighten the front leg. So it's hard to see that front leg from this angle right here, but what I'm doing is straightening the knee as much as possible, and that's where I'm rocking back, keeping my foot planted, that's the goal. Can I keep my foot planted as I push back through the floor here? as I try and straighten the leg. So the leg may not go fully straight. You might feel a lot of tightness through the top of the foot. You might feel a lot of tightness at those hamstrings and adductors. Just do the best you can focusing on the press from the quadriceps here. Okay, switching sides. Once again, lifting the back knee first a few times, getting full engagement of the lower body engaging, lowering, and then you're gonna see we're gonna switch again after 30 seconds here to straightening out that front leg and really stretching out those hamstrings while the front foot is planted. Next, we're gonna move to a position where you're seated with your toes tucked underneath you, butt to heels. And if this is a little challenging at first, you could place a pillow between your heels and your butt. Interlace the fingers behind the back of the head here, just lightly supporting the head. So the hands are there to be pushed into by the head, not for the hands to pull on the head at all. And what we're doing is a seated cat cow here. So we wanna tip the elbow tips to the ceiling as much as possible. Feel your back muscles flexing and then we're flexing the glutes and flexing the abs as we come into flexion of the spinal column, going back and forth between those two positions, never tugging on the neck, hands are just lightly back behind the head there for the head to push back into and stretch those arms, those lats, the underside of the arm out. All right, 
And for our last position today, we're gonna go plantar flexed on the feet, so flat feet, butt to heels. Place the hand back behind you, reach up long overhead as you extend the hips here each time. So I'm pushing through the arm, I'm pushing through the hips, and I'm keeping those feet planted flat to the floor as much as possible. Alternating sides, so we're getting some rotation through the spinal column here as well at the same time. As you push to that top position, you want to focus on how tight you can squeeze those glutes from both sides. So both glutes flexing in extension as much as possible is going to open up those hip flexors as well. Take your time. Doesn't matter how many reps you get here, just that you're practicing getting into that maxed out position, whatever full range you can access. All right, and there you have it. A quick 10 minute morning mobility routine to get your day started and headed in the right direction. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share this one with a friend who needs to get their day going in the right direction as well. If you're a dad and you're looking to move with the ease, energy, and youthfulness of your kids and you want to improve your mobility overall, Maybe you suffer from training aches and pains, you have training injuries that you've had in the past that still nag you. Then go ahead and drop down below in the description here and fill out the coaching application. We'll get in contact with you and get you headed in the right direction so you don't have to deal with those things anymore. So down below in the description, coaching application, we'll get in contact with you and have a conversation to get you headed in the right direction. And last but not least, if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it with your family in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get better than that. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. Catch you guys next week.